All right. Okay, I think let me start few things uh, from my side. Um, so hi, this is Ravi. Uh, I'm, I'm being part of a Hyperledger i18 project. So the i18 project is usually used to do tra language translations um, from the native speakers. Uh, so since we have a, a global language as English, uh, so the documents are available, but still we consider that there are many countries are many people still they are looking for own native mother uh, mother tongue uh, they want to read the documentation on their own mother tongue so that's where uh, the i18 project has started i believe so and uh, so currently we there are around seven translations group uh, in this i18 project uh, so whereas i try representing a tamil uh, language translations and young was uh, doing for chinese and we have anina for malayalam and we have other from Alfonso from Latin America. So I, that's all I know that. So uh, so these people were started this language translations to to, to show up uh, to to translate the fab fabric or any hyperledger projects. So most of them are currently in fabric now. So that's why I used to contact with them. And so why this is very important, language translation is very important to me, right? So when I was started a hyperledger, some of them are very grammatical, uh, deep understanding requires. But when you do translate uh, in your own mother tongue, that gives a core depth of the uh, knowledge that you gain out of it. And when you do represent, or when you are presenting to somebody's, or uh, if you want to do on core, the core that you learned on your own mother tongue is going to help you to do what you want to. So as I said, like. Uh, uh, so language is not a barrier for anything that you would like to do here, right? So that is what all about it. And uh, you know, and uh, that's a one proverb or when there's a most of the history about it, and most of the achievers who speak, uh, uh, whom we speak today, uh, are the ones who have learned everything on their own mother tongue and they have achievers we are talking about. So that's where I strongly believe that uh, learning, in, uh, uh, learning uh, the new technologies or blockchain and your by self-learning that takes place in uh, in our own native language gives a deeper understanding and reveals the greatest research in, in this particular area. That is where we want to convert this translations part of it. Uh, so that's uh, all about it. Uh, and uh, currently we did a lot of uh, researches uh, because when we go and approach some people, uh, they will say, why well, the computer is completely English language, so we, why you would like to uh, do a translations? Uh, that's why people used to ask. But that is why I keep used to say that, uh, you know, um, understanding on their own mother tongue uh, languages gives a different elevation of the subject. So that is where I used to tell and I give some examples to them. I, I translate that into their own mother tongue that then they they've been signed up with the programs uh, that's where i'm i'm doing it about it um, so that's of course uh, this is what all i'm doing it uh, that's all about from young i think probably you can take from here yes okay uh actually i mm, plan to uh, after, after I kind of find the translation page, <laughs> so no, I will course. try to. Yes, I, no, I will try to use English. Uh, talk about my experience about translating. Um, so I will uh, talk slowly. Uh, actually, uh, in uh, two thousand and eighteen, I began to learn uh, fabric. At that time. Uh, there's not many uh, material learning materials uh, for learning fabric or uh, some something else uh, blockchain platform. Uh, but in China, our mother language is Chinese. Uh, English. Uh, many many developers are uh, not good at uh, English. So uh, I think they have have the same problem with me, uh, like, uh, uh, like me. Uh, we have to uh, read the English documents hardly and uh, learn the fabric slowly. Uh, but 
uh, fortunately, I can read English uh, better. Uh, so I uh, learn the fabric uh, by the learn fabric by the documents. And then when I uh, understand fabric and I know how to use it, and uh, uh, just like uh, I know how to build the network manually, uh, then I uh, at first I read blogs. Uh, after that, I found there is a work group in China. Uh, it is TWGC Technical Work Group China. Uh, so I uh, connect the members in TWGC, and uh, I know that they have a, a international uh, internationalization group uh, subgroup, and uh, their work is translate the documents. Uh, from English to Chinese. Uh, so I think uh, when I know that, I think it is a good job. Uh, it's very, very, very good for Chinese developers. So I joined them. Uh, I began to translate the documents uh, uh, from one version, one point, no, one point two. Uh, then uh, in 2019, uh, I began. I tried to uh, organize the the uh, volunteers in community and uh, uh, translate the documents until uh, about 2020. Uh, we finish the whole documents about uh, of. Uh, version one point four point two, and uh, we translate the whole tra the documents into Chinese, and uh, uh, I uh, told that good news uh, to the Happy Ledger uh, Foundation. Uh, they think they, they think uh, that is very good, uh, so they uh, make a tweet in Twitter. And uh, I'm very happy. Uh, I see that. Uh, after that, uh, uh, I after finish the one point four point two, uh, we began to translate two point two point zero, uh, because they are really have many difference. Uh, even the documents, uh, there are many updates. Uh, uh, and uh, now um, the volunteers in TWGC uh, have translated uh, uh, almost all the 2.2.0 uh, documents. Uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's really a uh, big work as many because the, the documents are many words. Uh, yes, that's uh, yes, that's my experience to uh, to translate the fabric documents, and uh, I'm very uh, uh, thanks the volunteers in TWC uh, very much because they make many they uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. paid many work, yes, and uh, actually. Uh, translate the documents is a uh, very hard work because uh, uh, the work the documents some some documents are very very long. Uh, for me, when I translate uh, uh, an, an article, uh, at least I will spend two hours, and then I have I um, have to uh, ask another translator to review the documents. And uh, actually, uh, we uh, uh, you already have two times I translate uh, his review, and then I translate I, tra I uh, translate the uh, I, I uh, correct the mistakes, and then he review again. And actually, one point one uh, article will two days. Then I can uh, update to the GitHub. Hello. Hello. Hi, Alfonso. Alfonso. 
Hi, Alfonso. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. <laughs> we are waiting for you. So uh, we, uh, we began to talk just now. Uh, yes, I was sent from the green room to another room. Um, what do we do now, Jesse? Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, Alfonso, so we were discussing about our experiences. Uh, so how we engage with the IATIM project and wait, what is wait. the benefit? Uh, uh, wait, I'm. I am in, in the other room, Jesse. <laughs> I I am in the other room. Okay. I'm, I'm, yes, I can hear you. You you were talking about you were talking to us. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I I don't know what's going on. Uh, you you talking to us, Alfonso? You are talking to us, or you are talking in other chat, other group? I'm. Uh, Rabbi Chan, I am lost. Okay. okay. I, I, I arrived an hour ago almost to, to the green room. We, we did all the checking. I was sent to another room. Um, now I'm sent here. And I have left the other room open because I have the chat. I don't know what to do. I um, think you are, you are have we to... live. So I think you have to close other other groups. Probably if you close the tabs, okay, uh, that will okay. that will you open this oh. tab aside and close other tabs. Oh. That will. You... Oh, I already did. Okay, okay. but right. what I don't understand is, are are we live? Yes, we are live. Good. So for the recording, fine. Um, thank you very much for for being here thank you very much for um experimenting with with the new technology it's always good to 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 have this this things happen okay uh we do believe in technology even even when it played tricks tricks on us um thank you very much um i this panel is a call for translations because we believe that to translate is to include, to understand, to learn, and to save uh, resources. This uh, Hyperledger Latino America hosts these forums to review worldwide experience translating Hyperledger Fabric and to explore future strategies to engage more translators. This is a complement and a continuation of what Anthony O'Dowd began uh, two years ago for the Fabric Documentation Working um, With us, we have Yang, which is the chairman of the Technical Working Group of China, China. at Hyperledger, a uh, blockchain engineer at China Academy of Information and Communication Technology, and software engineer at Superman. Uh, we have Ravi, Ravi Basakam, which is an enthusiastic creator to blockchain initiatives, experienced by profession, self-motivated, open to technology challenge, back-end developer and general engineer from Chennai, India, co-founder and CTO of KS Tech, uh, CTO of Enact NU Solutions, Vice President at JP Morgan Chase. Um, we have Great Anina to, to be with us. We have Anina, a blockchain evangelist who educates and inspires a growing community. And she has led a, a lead role in translating Hyperledger Fabric documentation to Malayalam, a native language of India, state of Kerala. She's a member of Hyperledger India chapter and St. Kitts College of Engineering at Kerala. Guys, we would like to hear what what you have done, what your problems have been, 
how you have solved them, what solutions you apply, and what do you think for the future? I do believe that we cannot fight for decentralization imposing one language. We have to recognize that there is a language barrier in the world, and to break that barrier, we have to translate. And you have been pioneers in some of the eight languages that Hyperledger Fabric has been translating to. Please share your experiences. Ayan, would you like to go first? Okay. Uh, actually, before I come here, uh, I talk that with uh, Ravi uh, a moment. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, would, would you would you like Rab who Ravi? Did you speak before I was uh, sent to another room? <laughs> okay. I um, I will uh, share my experience again. Now I have a script in my screen. Uh, actually, I plan to uh, share my experience in Chinese, uh, but I think the translation page is not a work. So uh, I decided to uh, share my experience in English. Uh, and uh, fortunately, I have a script in my in my computer. So I will uh, now I began to share my experience. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, actually, I have been studied blockchain technology since 2018 uh, from Fabric. Uh, at that time, we don't have much more learning materials, uh, but, the, but the official documents. And uh, uh, partial documents are translated uh, by TWC volunteers. Uh, because there is a international uh, internationalization uh, subgroup in TWC, uh, that is a work group of uh, Hyperledger, uh, and uh, the full name is Technical Work Group China. Uh, but actually, uh, Fabric is updated so quick that I have to read the English version documents. Uh, and it is really not easy for me uh, because uh, in China, our uh, mother language is uh, Chinese. Uh, so uh, I think that is the same as uh, many other Chinese developers. Uh, so when I uh, learned and understand the uh, fabric, from uh, by reading the English English language documents, uh, then I decided to make some contributions to the community to communicate and uh, began to translate the documents, uh, so that other developers can learn Fabric more easier. And uh, actually, uh, translating is not an easy work. Uh, it always it will spend me at least two hours to translate uh, one article for me. And uh, then I will ask uh, another trans translator to review the uh, documents. And uh, uh, usually it will spend about two days to translate uh, one article. Uh, but actually there are many, actually there are many uh, volunteers in TWC. And uh, since now uh, from about 2017, uh, uh, there are totally about uh, 200 translators, uh, they are volunteers in TWGC. Uh, we are now in a WeChat work group. And, and uh, uh, after that work, uh, finally, uh, we finished the uh, fabric fabric documents version 1.4.2. Uh, we translate the whole documents into Chinese, uh, and now it is uh, integrated in the uh, fabric official documents. Uh, we can select the Chinese language on from the uh, right side, uh, left side, and now uh, the. Fabric version 2.2.0 2 
is almost a translated, uh, is uh, almost uh, finished. Uh, uh, and uh, after the uh, 2.2.0 zero, uh, version documents finished, we will uh, update that uh, from 2.20 to uh, 2.30 or 2.40. Uh, and for me, the process of translating is also a process of learning. I have been translated uh, the documents since 2019, uh, and I'm very familiar with the documents. So I uh, pass the uh, certificate uh, hyperledger fabric administrator uh, it is a CHFA exam and uh, get the, uh, and uh, pass the exam yes uh, uh, and also my contribution in uh, translations uh, uh, make me uh, 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 elected as a co-chairman of uh, TWC in 2021. Uh, and uh, the uh, communicated, communicated trust me and uh, uh, believe I can uh, do more contribution in the, in the documents and uh, some, something else in the future. Uh, I think that is uh, what uh, my experience in translations. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's amazing you have already done so much, and it's it's great to hear that you have two hundred uh, volunteers. Um, Ravi, Anina, who wants to go first? Hey, uh, yes. So oh, thank so you, John. I, I'll start now. Thank you. So, uh, I mean, uh, it was very interesting and to be part of this uh, program. And I was really excited to do, and I surprised that I would be here on this part. Now, I started this journey about Hyperledger is like uh, starting my own to know about the blockchain. And it was it was alone, always the version of 1.4.2, I think, if I'm not wrong. So that was the early stage I started, and it was very hard to learn about the fabric uh, uh, because the documentation was in English and uh, it was very deep. Some of the documents are very deep in English, so it's very hard to understand what the core of the, the, the explanation about it. So what I did was that during that time, uh, I was did some translate that into my mother, uh, mother language, uh, I can say. So when I do mother language and I do read repeatedly multiple times, then I was able to understand the core of the fabric, how it is being you know, designed and how it is architectured. So that helps me a lot understanding of uh, what the fabric uh, uh, are designed and how it is they are working, what the workflow everything. So I decided to start learning from there. And uh, later the part I was, uh, I was approached that, okay, so this is the one thing that most of the people in the country or in my community that uh, they were struggled to learn this uh, blockchain because blockchain is new to the industry. And uh, so some of them people people who who on the other side that they're not still not able to speak English or not able to hard to read understanding uh, the English. So probably they may feel the same thing what I faced. So I decided that. Uh, so why don't we convert this into the Tamil translation uh, group? So the people who can, uh, you know, who read that uh, in their own mother tongue uh, will definitely understand the core of the blockchain, how the design works, how the fabric part. So that's where I, I was in this part of language translations. And currently I was able to reach most of the peoples. Uh, and, and currently we have around three peoples in the team because we recently started uh, this language translations and we have currently we have three signups uh, in the translations and we are in the in the in the conversion of the program of uh, fabric version 2.2 uh, that's where we we are in this part so the one thing uh, i i would say that uh, learning through mother tongue always gives a deeper understanding uh, when we learn with the other global language uh, because we know the mother language we know the global language which english which understands but the core, if you read uh, the documentations on your own mother tongue, 
will give the uh, deep insight of the you know the core of the uh, the meaning of the, the the word that they have been explained so that gives me a pleasure to be part of this program and i was doing this uh, as a, you know uh, to people who can uh, not speak uh, global languages or not speak uh, english people who can start into the blockchain and get the more people into the inside of this part thank you ani yes alfonso so um to you. me too so uh we actually started this effort to enable uh, to enable address the region specific contribution barrier as you mentioned earlier and so we decided to translate the technical uh, documentations to malayalam which is a, a language in kerala which is a southern so we actually to translate the technical contents to uh, malayalam so that this become more accessible to people in the region and maybe they can use it as ravi said when it is presented in their mother tongue it will be easy for them to grab so we kind of first approached david and um, anthony and they were so supportive and they helped us to get going so the main challenge that we faced first is that you know the community is uh, you know truly of you know the role of contribution say many of them you know since i'm from a developing country like india people don't know what the actual potential of a community is okay. so that was the first challenge that we faced and the second challenge that we faced was the process of having members with knowledge necessary to deal with these things such as you know some of them may not be familiar with rtds they they won't be familiar with read the docs or they won't be familiar with the appropriate tools so we found that a challenge and we actually found it a great challenge to educate them to you know kind of use those stuff and since the documentation is getting updated in a rapid manner efforts of being done from our and especially since i'm from academy i'm representing singit group of institutions we have a couple of students who are actually working towards documentation because of the fact that the documentation is getting updated in a rapid manner we are actually trying to uh, you know develop a translation tool which is specifically based on ai because if you're translating it using uh, you know google translate sometimes the, those uh, you know sentences won't be meaningful or logical so we are actually trying to develop our own you know uh, ai based tools so that we 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 may be able to translate in a better way so currently we have almost 20 to 25 people who are working towards this but the main challenge that we actually face is of or the because of the rapid updations in this documentation we find it difficult to you know kind of translate every single page and that is why we are in an effort to you know kind of develop ai based tools for that yeah that's it and i'm so happy that i'm actually a part of this hyperledger community and thank you thank you anina uh we're very short on time unfortunately because of this this uh, situation at the beginning but i'm very glad that you were able to share with the hyperledger community all these examples um the example of china with 200 volunteers it's an example on putting together you know a crowd that really can can help a lot and not only it's the numbers of but it's the fact what of what ravi said that when you when one learns through our mother language the understanding is definitely more uh deeper goes deeper into our brain into into our soul and uh, you anina you could not be more precise of of the three things that that you said um definitely we have to learn because we're not aware and especially in the developing world or the uh, global south and this is it politically correct uh said now uh we are not aware of the role of contributions okay the example of yang with 200 volunteers it's something that we have to learn in our countries that we can put together a truly community effort to do things together and i understand the second thing you said anina is that the 
having members with knowledge. And in that sense, uh, academia plays definitely a, a, a role. And it's definitely a, a breeding ground for those volunteers. Because we're teaching them not only about technology, but we're teaching them about the role of contribution. And we're teaching them about the role of their mother language in understanding of, of, of things. And of course, we have to advance with translation tools. Okay. But I think, uh, that unfortunately, uh, Otavio Oliveira could not join us because he was going to share what he has been doing with, with uh, translation tools and with AI. Okay. But I would say, as, as a closing um, note, that yes, we have to advance technology and tools. But if we take the problem of language as a problem of coordination and collaboration, really yeah. advancing a lot in the field of, of fabric translation, but in the creation of an open source spirit and an open source uh, community. In six minutes, everyone has to go to another session. So uh, even though I, I would like to continue, you know, much more than the original 30, 30 minutes that, that we didn't have. You know, but I would say this is the first of, of many more uh, meetings we should have uh, for Tower of, of Babel. You know. If you want to have concluding remarks, Yang, Anina, Ravi, please do so. No, Ravi says, Ravi says, no, Yang, would you like to add something else? Anina? Yes. Uh, I uh, say something uh, that uh, translations is uh, very well help for uh, different uh, developers in different uh, uh, languages. So uh, please join us and uh, do more translations, contribute more for the uh, community. Thank you. Anina. Yeah. So uh, as uh, Yang's, Yang told, we are actually trying to address the language barrier. And I am actually calling out all the community members who are especially in Kerala to join us and to spread the word about you know community enhancement and all. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, guys. It's it's all of you. And let's continue this this effort. Much. Thank you. Sure. Bye bye. 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 bye.